tiny book. We got big stuff to talk about in this tiny book. Let's go. In a full life with Jesus, we read a lot about prayer. So like this letter that Paul wrote to the Ephesians, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. So what does it mean when Paul says to pray in the spirit? The Holy Spirit is here to help us. Think of it this way. You carry it to God in prayer, the Holy Spirit does the heavy lifting. In another letter to the Romans, Paul says that when we pray, the Holy Spirit intercedes for us. So if someone speaks up in support of you, that's interceding. He does the speaking for us. When you don't have the words, he speaks for you. When you don't know where you are, he knows the way. When you don't know how to find peace, he whispers, be still. The Holy Spirit knows you better than you know yourself. To pray in the Spirit, there are no secret tricks. There are no passwords. You just ask the Holy Spirit to magnify Jesus while you pray, and you see what happens. Listen first, then you understand, then you act. So when can I pray? All occasions, all the time, whenever you want. What can I pray for? All the things. Whatever you can think about, you pray about. Pray for answers to your puzzles. Pray for the next mission. Pray bold prayers, waiting in awe to see what God will do. The Holy Spirit sees the unseen. When you pray, ask the Spirit to guide your heart to what God sees. That's it.